this is important. Let's talk uh, talk about this. Um, you know, we 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 talked about Betsy DeVos earlier, and her um, her misunderstanding under the circumstances in which historically ba- black uh, universities were founded. That's generous. That it did not represent a desire for choice, but rather it was because there was literally no choice, and also not understanding that it was the federal government that made it possible for these colleges, uh, most of them, to emerge. But what Betsy DeVos wants is to voucherize our public education. She's against the idea of public schools. She does believe in public education, essentially the federal government giving vouchers to people to go to private schools, many of them parochial schools. And the problem with this is multifold. One, that all you end up really doing is giving a discount to wealthy people to go to top private schools. And then you're just subsidizing lower quality private schools and parochial schools, which I think is a big part of her agenda, which have no, absolutely no accountability to society in terms of their standards. So you're paying for all these things, but you have no ability as a society to say like, hey, you should learn reading, arithmetic, science, And here is a video, and this obviously is like uh, surreptitiously recorded, probably Obama. (laughs) All right, Betsy DeVos cam Uh, and record. Of Texas State Senator Don Huffines. He's from Dallas. And he's asking questions uh, or taking, you know, uh, students have visited the Capitol. And they're asking him questions. And you can hear a teacher say, okay, a student has a question for you. This is a grown man (laughs) talking to students. And the students basically uh, put him in his place. Now, it's hard to hear her, so I I may stop it and and tell you what she says. I think you have a student in the back. Excuse me, senator. I don't mean to offend you, but you're speaking on behalf of the students. And as a student of public education, I disagree with this completely. I have been, I've gone to a private school before. Mm-hmm. And private schools, they truly do only benefit the upper class, especially with these vouchers. What are you planning to give them? 5000 a year? The majority of private schools, it's 5000 a semester. How are these lower income families supposed to pay for the rest of the school? Oh, so it doesn't Pause it, pause it. Now, I think you could hear what she said. She's a public school student, but she's been to private schools. She says that they only benefit the upper class, that um, these schools cost 5000 a semester. You're going to give them 5000 a year. How are they supposed to go? And uh, he doesn't appreciate that question, and he's going to let that high school student know about it. So it doesn't pay for all their education. It doesn't pay for all their education, does it? The 5000 won't pay for it, right? So it doesn't pay for it. So you're saying that, okay, since we're not giving them enough money to pay for all their education, screw them, they can't go to private school. You're going to say they can't go to private school because we're not giving them enough money. Do you want me to give them 15000 Is that what you want? Pause so they can all go to hockey? So he's basically saying right here, you would deny them the opportunity to go to private school just because we're not giving them enough money. You get the dynamic here, right? This is the same thing of like, you're going to have full access to buy health insurance. And Bernie Sanders in that debate with Ted Cruz said, you've also got full access to buy one of Donald Trump's houses. You just need the, the tens of millions of dollars. full it's- access to buy a name. But you don't have Rosneft. You can't do it. But you have access. So this guy is saying, like, you would deny them the ability to go to uh, a private school just because they're only getting $5,000 as opposed to the cost of the private school. But then he realizes, hey, this tax seems wrong. Because back it up just a little bit. He starts saying, he basically gives away the ghost, right? He says, like, oh, what, you want them to go to? And he names a couple of, of the best top-tier schools. Which, of course, it's starting to give it away a little bit at that point. But here we go. 
They were going to say they can't go to private school because we're not giving them enough money. You want me to give them, do you want me to give them 15000 Is that what you want? So they can all go to hockey day, they can all go to St. Mark? You want to give them a full tuition? That is the most selfish thing I've ever heard. What? You're going to say $5,000. You're going to keep them the opportunity to go to school or get a scholarship somewhere else. By the way, we have testimony in the interim here. And also, that the average tuition for private schools are state of Texas, $5,800 K-8, average. That means a lot of schools have less than that, right? We have testimony that said in El Paso, the parochial schools in El Paso, the, the tuition is $3,500 to K-8. And the state, and there may be money left over. When we pay our taxes, those funds are accountable. They have testing, they have teeth, they have a list of things that must be accomplished every year. I taught public school. There you go. Uh, the guy uh, later apologized for his tone. <laughs> but apparently uh, he wants everybody in Texas to go to, to school in El Paso, go to the uh, church school there that they can afford. Like I says, he didn't live, uh, live up to the level of civil discourse that he always expects of himself and others, and mm. others presumably like high school students. Right. <laughs> that $3,500, that can't be... That would be extraordinary. It would be. Uh, I find it hard to believe, but even if it's the case, I don't know what still, kind of education you're going to get there. Yeah. Still want to cover bet good private schools. Well, he's saying that there are some parochial schools that are thirty five hundred dollars. Now, mm -hmm. of course, parochial schools the, pay their teachers terribly. I went to. A, I grew up going to a Catholic school, and well, the beauty a, of a parochial school is Kelly. You don't really need to get involved in all the sciencey and mathy things. <laughs> Because <laughs> God takes care of it. Hey, it's Sam Cedar. Why don't you uh, subscribe to this channel? You can do so right, uh, right over here. Uh, so over. Subscri subscribe.